Hello. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the table feature of Wiki to display data or to lay out a Wiki page. The goal is to enhance the presentation of your Wiki site. For example, in this Wiki site, we would like to uh, present our experimental data on the data collection page. So we come to this page and click Edit. If you like, you can also add a title or some explanation about uh, the table. But here, uh, I just want to show you how to insert a table. Click Insert a New Table icon. A pop-up window appears. Here, you should provide information about the number of columns and number of rows you want to have uh, in your table and some other parameters. So for this experiment, we need four columns, 12 rows to present our data. For cell paddings and uh, cell spacing, each we choose two pixels. We want to align the table in the center. For the border, we choose one pixel. So we can click Insert. We can leave the width and the height blank for now. And uh, when we type in our data or text, the table will be stretched. So here we will present three sets of data. We have sample one, sample two, and the sample three. And also we type in, uh, I type in weight of weighing paper plus the weight of potassium hydrogen phthalate. Uh, the unit is grams and the other uh, measurement. And of course, if we have the experimental data, we can also fill in. Just to save time, uh, I think you get the idea how to uh, create a table, add a table, and fill in your data. And after you complete, click Save. If later you want to add more data or you want to modify any of these text or data, you can always click Edit and continue to work on it. Now let's take a look another type of uh, table usage. That is to use the table to lay out our page. In the home page, we would like to add a table of content. I click Edit button. And first, I type table of content. And I, I want it to be uh, heading, use the heading one, and then I want line in the center. Now I insert a table to lay out of our table of content. And for this wiki project, I have totally six pages. Therefore, I just want one column and then six rows to list all six pages. If you have big wiki project, say 20 pages, you may want to use two columns and 10 rows to lay out your table of content. And for the cell spacing, maybe I use three pixels. For the border here, because we just use this table to lay out our content, not really to present the data, so we don't want the border to show up. Therefore, we choose zero as a border. Now the table is inserted. Yeah, also I want this table of content all list all the pages in the center, so actually in the table feature I also choose uh, aligned to the center. So now I can type in my page title. First introduction, then experiment. The next one is data collection. And so on and so forth. Um, you know how to fill the rest. And also I want to have a little bit larger size size three, so I do the same thing for the other.
Also, I want to link each title to the page, so introduction is linked to the introduction page. And experiment to the experiment page. And data collection, of course, to the data collection page. So to save time, I will just not continue. But I think you get idea how you can use the uh, table feature of Wiki to lay out uh, your page. Now, suppose I'm on the results and discussion page. I would like also to have a navigation links so that people can click the next to the next page or the uh, previous to previous page so that they don't have to always come back to the table of content and then to see what's next. Click edit. Suppose we have some content already. So here I just go to uh, the bottom of the page. And then I add previous, you can also write previous page. I just uh, write previous, I think it's pretty clear. And then next for next page. And also maybe I want to align them in the center. Also make it a little bit bigger or make it bold. And then the previous page, the previous, I want to link to the previous page. Since this is the uh, results and discussion page, so the previous page is the data collection. So I select the data collection, link to this page, I click insert, and then the next page is linked, the next is linked to the conclusion. Now I click Save. So suppose here we already have uh, the results and uh, discussion text here. And after reading these uh, results and the discussion, I can click Next to go to the conclusion page. And of course, the same thing on conclusion page, you can also add a previous link to previous page. And the next page, in this case, is to the graphs page. I think you get the idea. Thank you for watching.